I am going to show you the shortcut to find the slant asymptote of any curve. The definition of the slant asymptote uh, you can see is y equal to mx plus c the slant asymptote to a function a fx if the following condition is satisfied. So what's the shortcut? We have to only find m and c then we can plug in the equation y equal to mx plus c so that become a slant asymptote. How to find m and c? The above equation can be written like this one and look at there here m is a constant c is a constant so if you divide this equation by x both side by x so this equation took this form now look at the limit if you apply limit to the last term that is c over x c is a constant that will become zero so we have this form now solve this equation for m so this is the formula for m so you can direct calculate m if you have a curve you have to calculate this limit at plus infinity or minus infinity. So maximum you can find two values of m. Now let's see what is c. From that equation you can solve it for c like this one. So this will be the value of c. So first you have to find the m then you will plug in this formula then you can calculate c. So we have a slant asymptote like this one mx plus c. Let us solve some examples. Example 1. Here we have x minus 10 inverse x. This is our function. So let us first calculate m. So if I plug everything in this formula. So this took this form. Then if I simplify so it is like this one. Then further if you plug limit at plus infinity and minus infinity you will just have this one. So this is a constant over infinity that is 0. So m is 1. Now for C, you can plug everything in the formula, m equal to 1 and the function. So this look like this one. If you plug the limit, you will get two values of C. So we have one value of m uh, corresponding two values of C. So we have two slot asymptote, y equal to x plus pi by 2 and y equal to x minus pi by 2. So let us find m. So if I plug everything in this formula, so this took this form. So further, if you plug the limit, second term gave you only 0, so m is 2. Now you can plug 2 in the formula of the C. So this took this form, then this one. If you look at this limit, this is indeterminate form of infinity minus zero, infinity into 0 form. So what you will do, you can rearrange this one, then you can use L Hopitar rule and simple identity sine theta over theta. So this is equal 1. So we have m equal to 2 and corresponding value of c is 1. So we have only one slant asymptote. So this is what is the shortcut for slant asymptote. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.